And see, guys, when you break it down like that, it's not too hard to tell who's going to do music as a full-time career and who's going to stay a full-time hobbyist for the rest of their life and frustrated and cynical and telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. Because if you don't do all three things, you're never going to make it there. That's 100% guarantee. If you don't have all three things, no chance. What's going on, guys? Adam Ivysellmusic.com here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help you transform that passion for making music into a legitimate business that's going to provide you with freedom and fulfillment. I don't know about you, but two of the most important things in my life. In this video, I got to address something that I was actually talking about with one of my students recently that I think is going to bring a ton of value to you. So I want you to grab a paper and pen or have your phone ready to take some notes. Now, this is something that's absolutely going to be a determining factor whether or not you're able to do music full time or not. This is a marketing video. So what am I talking about in this video? The number one thing that I talk about with a lot of my students, in fact, uh, when I'm working up custom strategies, this is something that always kind of pops in top of mind as a yes or no answer, and that's, is your brand developed? Now, as I talk about in other videos, a brand is like Nike, the product is your music. You don't think of Nike as the shin guards and sports bras and golf clubs and visors and stuff. You think of Nike as just do it. You think of Nike as the swoosh. You think of Nike as the commercials that we watch and we watch watch people that have maybe some adversities in their life or some uh, maybe some disabilities that they've overcome to make you feel good, to give you the goosebump moment when you watch those videos, when they come up, you know, before YouTube videos or they're playing during the middle of the Super Bowl. Or am I allowed to say that? Anyway, now what I'm talking about is brand development as you, as an artist, as a rapper, as a producer, a mixer. It doesn't matter what you're doing. In fact, if you're a fitness professional, if you're a YouTuber, this is going to apply. Now, I look at brand development as a triangle. Now, this is what I talk about with some of my students. In fact, like I said, I just talked to someone the other day about this and that's why it's on top of mind and I'm like you know what sure enough I'm gonna make a YouTube video about it and I think that you guys are gonna get a lot of value from this so you got to think of any major brand yours included that's what's most important in this video as a triangle the top part of the triangle being one key element the other corner right corner left corner doesn't matter being the other element and the third corner I guess the trifecta of the triangle is the third and most important element. Now, with only one, with only two, you're never going to find success. That's why I said at the beginning of this video. But with all three, you're destined for greatness. You're destined to hit those goals, reach that maximum potential, and reach that momentum a lot faster than those that are in the dark, those that are maybe either naive to the fact or just they just don't understand. So if you know someone after this video, I'd love for you to share this video. Now, let's talk about the three pillars of the triangle real quick because this isn't rocket science, but this is something that if you harness it, it's going to be powerful. Now, understanding the three, tri the three parts of the triangle, I don't even have to draw this out. I thought about bringing out the easel, but it's something that I want you guys to write down and develop this, uh, develop your own note system. So the top part of the triangle would be understanding who you are as a brand. Now it sounds common sense, right? Like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Well, a lot of you guys don't know. If we hopped into an elevator, if we hopped into a uh, Uber, like an Uber share thing, and we were only going somewhere for like four or five minutes, and I said, hey, what do you do? What's your name? What do you represent? Where, what should I know about you? A lot of you guys would say, um, uh, uh, well, what are you interested in? You don't ask someone what they're interested in necessarily when you're trying to push a brand value, a brand mission statement, a brand aesthetic, a brand story. You know, the narration, the narrative rather of your story goes into everything from captions to copy to what you're naming products, what you're naming songs, how you're talking about yourself and others. So understanding who you are with maximum clarity is going to give you focus. It's going to help you save time, money, resources, all that good stuff. Now, understanding that is going to lead into, okay, who are you to others? That's the second part that you guys need to understand. Who are you? Any, any major brand development or any major brand rather is going to understand who they are to complete strangers because guess what we are in control of our reputation and our narrative so if you want to be a family vlog channel and yet you have a bunch of pictures on your instagram for example smoking weed swearing getting real political talking about other religions it's not going to work you have to be able to portray what you are because at the end of the day we're all actors we are all uh, uh, an optimized version of our real self to the world if we get up on camera just like me do I talk like this all the time? Do I talk this fast? Meaning, no. But at the end of the day, I want to be able to get so much out in, in such a short period of time. And I know that if I talk slow, you guys are going to get bored. If I talk slow, you guys aren't going to listen. 
There's a reason that I talk fast in these videos is because it takes a little bit more attentiveness to understand what I'm saying. If I talk slower, you guys could do other things. You guys could multitask. And if I talk a little bit faster, which I don't have a problem with, it's pretty natural to me, you guys will actually have to listen to what I'm saying to catch everything or slow me down. I can talk like this, but I'm not gonna waste your time. Now, understanding who you are to a complete stranger is important because when they discover your profiles, when they discover your music, when they discover your website or whatever they discover in the middle of the night when you're asleep or when you're on vacation, you don't, you're not gonna be able to be there to kind of hold their hand. You're not the Walmart greeter at that point. So your narration, meaning, meaning what's in your Instagram bio, does it match with your Twitter bio? Does it match with your uh, you know, narrative and everything over on Facebook and YouTube and on your own website? And who's talking about you on their website? Have you done guest posts? Have you done blogs yourself? Have you done, like, you get what I'm saying. All of this stuff has to be coherent or cohesive in order for people to understand that you're a professional brand. Now, obviously visuals matter, aesthetic matters. And I talk about that all in my you know, a mentorship program and sell music masterclass and all that stuff. I'm not going to make this video super long because I could. Now, this video is just a comprehensive overview of what a brand is. So you can kind of do an audit on yourself and say, you know what? I'm missing a key element. I never even thought about it that way. Now, understanding who you are, first post or first, what do you want to call it? Peak, the peak of the triangle, understanding who you are, what you represent, what your brand is, is supposed to perceive or not perceive, is supposed to portray as far as the stranger then perceiving that, being able to say, okay, this is who they are, this is what they represent, this is their aesthetic, this is their style, and this is why I should care, and you gotta be able to tell them with a clear call to action why they should care, what you represent, what they should have you know, in mind for what's in store, are you going to be ultra consistent with your posts? That's one reason that I always preach consistency is because if you go to any channel on TV, for instance, if you were to watch The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad or whatever the, the flavor of the week, flavor of the year is on TV or Netflix or whatever, and they're like, oh, we have this great episode, but we don't know the next time that we're gonna post. or We don't know the next time another one's gonna come out. You would not invest any time in that because you wouldn't be able to trust it. Consistency leads to trust. If you post music on a regular basis, if you post posts on a regular basis, that stranger is going to be able to perceive you as someone that's bringing value, someone that's gonna be around, not a here today, gone tomorrow character. Now, understanding who you are, very important, obviously. Your brand narrative, your brand summary, per se. Understanding where, or I'm not, no, I almost slipped up there, who the strangers perceive you as. Now, the third part of the triangle, the whatever other corner's empty right now, is who are those strangers? understanding your target audience, understanding who that you need to talk to, how to talk to them, where they're hanging out, who you should be looking at as far as the osmosis of, of evolution of in the sense of if that stranger, for instance, listens to Tory Lanez or Drake, does your music kind of vibe with that? Or are they more of a Post Malone or a Carl Malone? Does that make sense? You got to understand who you're... Uh, pitching your, your music to, who you're marketing to. Almost had a complete mind fart meltdown because I was also thinking about Barbra Streisand. I was thinking about Josh Groban. I was thinking about Drake. I was thinking about all these kind of obscure artists and popular artists. No matter who you are, you're not going to appeal to all audiences. I don't care if you're Metallica. I don't care if you're Leonard Skinnerd. I don't care if you are Kenny G. Your music could be unbelievable, critically acclaimed, Grammy award winning, such as Weird Al, one of my mentors or one of my passive, you know, idols growing up. But at the end of the day, not everybody's going to like it. Some people are going to take it as a joke. They're going to say it's trash. You could see that online day after day. No matter how great the music is to the huge pool of people, there's always going to be the outliers, the, the cynics, the skeptics, the haters that are going to try to bring them down a few notches. And that's not for them. So if you are a soccer team, you're not gonna be pushing your ads and pushing your content to somebody that's like a fanatic of WWE or even weirder uh, sushi cooking, right? So when you go on Instagram and you're doing promoted posts, like why? Everything that I teach, everything that I do in, in my career, everything that I teach to my students through one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship programs or my online course that's only available for one week a year, although it will be available soon, but I'm not gonna do a spoiler, so I guess spoiler alert. The thing, the fact of the matter is, you have to understand who you're targeting if, with those strangers, with that group of strangers, otherwise you're just gonna be pissing away a ton of money, you're just gonna be driving in the dark without your lights on, hoping not to hit anything. I make that analogy a lot because that's exactly how I see it. When I'm going through my day-to-day -day routine, I always ask myself, I audit myself, I say, Adam, do I have purpose in what I'm doing? 
or am I just doing something just to do it, right? And there's days, even in my career, where I'm like, oh, you know what? I almost posted that just to, just to have something, right? Because laziness at the end of the day, you could have the most insane work ethic. There's gonna be a day, there's gonna be a few days where you're only wanting to operate at 40%. Not that you can only operate at 40%, but you're by, you know, by, um, you wanna, what do you wanna call it? Just, just a ratio, just a percentage of your days are going to be underperforming by nature. That's the, that's the human element. That's the human, uh, what do you want to call it? Whatever. You get what I'm saying? So you have to understand that you have to have all three pillars of a triangle in order to be on top. Think about it that way. If you want to be on top of the triangle, if you want to be on top of the food pyramid, especially in the music industry or any creative industry, you have to understand if your brand is solid, if your brand is weak, if your brand needs a little bit of improvement, because at the end of the day, everybody can improve, even Nike, who I referred to a little bit earlier in this video. Now, I want to know if you have all three posts, and we'll go over it one more time. How about that? First post, understanding who you are as a brand, understanding your narrative, your aesthetic, what you represent, how you want people to perceive your brand. Number two, understanding what strangers perceive your brand as when they discover you. Are they gonna become raging fans, such as the inbound music marketing formula, which I talk about a little bit? Are they gonna become a go from a stranger to a raving fan that's gonna be able to be an evangelist to you guys? They're gonna be able to be an advocate for your brand and kind of work and promote for you for free because they care that freaking much? That's what you're looking for when it comes to building a brand that's gonna be magnetic. We'll talk about that in a different video or, you know, stay tuned for more information in a different video, I guess. Now, the third post, one of the most important posts of the triangle, the trifecta post, the keystone of this is understanding who those strangers are. You can know, you can know who you wanna to be to strangers, but what strangers do you care about? What strangers, not everyone, there, I'm so sorry, not anyone, makes music for everyone and understand that. If you can embrace that, you're gonna be just fine. Understand all three parts of the triangle are a must if you wanna do music as a career, if you wanna do YouTube as a career, if you wanna open your own business, if you wanna be a personal trainer that has a name that yields a lot of return as far as your time when you're training people. You wanna become a celebrity personal trainer. You wanna become a celebrity chef. You just wanna do something very well and you wanna own an asphalt company. You ha your brand has to have all three elements, otherwise it will fail. You will only be able to do it part-time. You'll only find minor success and you're gonna be in the, in, the, in the cesspool of mediocrity your whole life. And trust me, that's very overcrowded and you probably will catch something. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below if your brand has all three elements, because guess what? I don't think it does, unless you're already finding massive success, which in that case, congratulations. And I'm so hap happy and thankful that you're watching my video. I'm here to help. I wanna hear from my channel family in the comments below. Let me know one, two, or three. And don't just leave a number, one, two, or three. Let me know how many peaks, how many points of that triangle, how many elements, one, two, or three, do you have? And which one did, did, did you have to work on the most? Again, almost had a mind blank there. I don't know, these one takes are very interesting. They're, they're an exercise even for me. And I'm not done yet because I want you to go watch this video next. I think it's gonna bring a lot of value to you. In fact, I know it's gonna help build your following over on Instagram, which is something that I think each and every one of us need to focus on. Now, if you haven't yet, join the channel family by clicking that little button down there in the bell icon. Find me over on Instagram, come say what's up in a comment. And as always guys, all my contact information will be in the description box below.